car. Mm -hmm. That's all it means. Don't make noises either. That's all it means to her is that she's a bad mother. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Um, the just the eighteen dollar one. How long is it today? One hour. Okay. I'm gonna wait uh, and then pull it up after the car. I'm gonna wait until the car's ready to go. Hey guys. Um. So I am back today and I'm like in like, okay, so today's Monday and I just want to get some things done. I'm getting a car wash. I had to go to the bank and I forgot my sunglasses at home. I'm so upset. Well, I have guys, it's so embarrassing, but I have these sunglasses right now. These are like my acne sunglasses, but I fucked them up so bad. Sorry. I'm going to try to be less with the F words. I'm going to try my best. I messed them up so bad. Um, I can hardly even see through them because I've just, I've t I tossed them around. They're like literally trash. I can't even, oops, I can't even wear them and I don't have any sunglasses to wear. And you guys know, like, I cannot go anywhere without sunglasses. Like, I feel like, I feel like they're, I don't know, my eyes are sensitive. Like, I don't know, I'm so used to wearing sunglasses that I am so uncomfortable. Like, I've been driving around with those sunglasses and now I'm just so, like, what's the word? I'm just irritated. Okay, so what else? So... Hi Ming. Being a good, cute, 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 cute. Go for a walk. All right. So anyway, this is like the car wash I always go to. I'm in Koreatown right now, and it's always a really long wait, but they do a good job. And I don't really know where their car wash. Like I do, but I feel like this is kind of central a little bit. I don't even. There's no fucking car washes. Like the only car wash I know is at the Century City Mall, and that's, they do a good job there. Like when you go shop, you can like leave the car there to, for them to wash. Anyway, I don't know. This is the only car wash I know of. I'm, like retarded. Um. So, wait, because it's always an hour wait, I don't, like, sit around. Like, a lot of people just, like, sit the car wash and wait. I, like, go, wa I walk around, um, and I found, like, this Korean supermarket, and they have the best baby wipes there ever, and I'm going to go back to get, like, a pack or two. I think I've talked about these in the past. I'm not sure. But they're, like, cloths. They're not, like, baby wipes. They're actual, like, wet cloths. Like, I almost feel guilty throwing them out each time. Actually, I think I have one left. Let me show you. Um, because they're such good quality. Yeah, there's one left in here. This is what they're called, and you guys, if you're Korean or if you're like Asian or whatever, if you're white, if you're anything, <laughs> black, Mexican, whatever, um, if you know where Korean store is, um, like, you need to get these. Let me show you. I don't know why it was like, if you're Korean, like, anyone can get them. Okay, so they are like really luxe. Like, I'm not kidding. I feel like, you know, like the really good paper towels. Oh, another thing about me, like, I'm so picky about paper towels and toilet paper. Like, it has to be, like, the best toilet paper and paper towels. I just really like good paper towels and toilet paper. Okay, TMI. So, these, you know that brand Viva, but, um, to the paper towels, they're so good. They're, like, cloths almost. They look so thick. This is, like, even better. This is, like, quilted. I, I can't explain it, you guys. It's, like, a such good quality. I don't know. I love it. I always, like, wipe my lips off, too. Anyway, okay, so that I'm gonna go to this Korean market right now. I'm gonna like walk around, and then the Paris baguette. They have really good lattes there, so there's like a Paris baguette right across the street, and I'll go get that. It still won't be an hour. This is now trash. So let me put it down there so I can clean it. Up. Um, it's still not like gonna be time, whatever, an hour. So I don't know. What else? Oh, I went to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday and I stole all of their straws because let me show you guys how cute they are. They're orange with a hot pink stripe. So now I'm gonna like go back and like steal more of their straws and like keep them for my house. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they're such so cute. <laughs> so fucking weird. What else? What else I've talked about? I've been like really am I I have so much to talk about, let me tell you. I just don't know how to like broach a lot of the situation. Ooh, I kinda look good right now. I like this angle. My hair looks like very like perfect. Um, okay, so I don't know how to like bring up a lot of things I want to bring up, but I'm not going to until I'm like ready or just like think it's like appropriate. I don't know. Like I don't want to like cause like drama or like I don't know. My I just like how 
I just want to have like a drama free life and I pretty much do where I, I don't like share everything. Um, so anyway, but the main thing that's been taking over my life right now is my party. Oh my God, my launch party for my site. And it's just so fucking amazing. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really good. I'm going to try. It's just so amazing. It's so amazing. Like I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I gave um, a lot of. I gave you guys an opportunity for two uh, for two days. Anyone who, who wanted to come, whatever that's past now. A lot of you guys are coming. I'm so excited. Um, the location is so fly. Like it's so me. It's so cool. It's so like no one knows. Like it's so different. Um, I'm just so excited to have the launch. The my new site launch. Like it is so good. I have had to deal with the biggest morons in regards to like site building or like like graphic design. Not really. Like the ones recently would have been really good. I'm not like saying. But the the person who like built my last site and the one that I was working with before that, like the worst ever, absolute worst, like zero talent, no offense. Like actually, yeah, offense. I don't care because they were terrible and they ripped me off big time. But um so anyway, this time it's a whole like new concept like that's so inter the whole like site is like stores like interactive and fun and easy and like fresh and me and classic but like like different I don't know I'm just it's so cool I'm so freaking excited I just I'm gonna be like wanting to like have my site on all the time like on my computer screen all the time because it's so cool and I'm just so excited it's, it's so long overdue and I know maybe you guys don't really know my backstory but I don't I've ne I never liked my site like the one that's currently up I don't like it that's why a lot of the times like people just email me in to order things because my site is never updated there's like glitches with like payments not really payments but like collecting information that I need I have to do a lot of extra work in the back uh, in the back end of the site it's just a lot of a lot of chaos um, and I just never liked the aesthetic of it at all it was never what I wanted but I had to get it up because I had to have a new site done like I think, this one, like, I think I had this one done like four or five years ago anyway so I'm just so excited you guys it's so cool I'm just, just whatever how many times do you say excited in one but I'm really excited Anyway, also, I haven't, like, been shopping. Oh, my God, this girl's eating, like, 400 donuts. I'm not even kidding. She's, like, a cute white girl, and she's, like, eating all those donuts. All right. Um, I have not been shopping in a long time, and I really kind of want to buy something. Like, okay, I think I might have some free time after this, and I think I might go get something. Like, go buy something. I'm not sure. Like, I kind of want to. I kind of want to get, I kind of want to get something. Um, I've been thinking about getting this piece, so we'll see. I just, the thing is that Ming, she's like ruined my life. Like, she's absolutely destroyed my life because I can't use any of my bags now. I can only use, oh my goodness gracious, so nice, please, you're so nice. Um, I can only use like big tote bags and I don't really have big tote bags. I have like two big tote bags and I just, I don't have a black one and I wear all black. So I kind of like want to get another bag because I'm, I've been carrying around this Chanel like bone color bag for I don't know how long and it's just like, I like it, but I want a black one. I want like a black bag. So I think I have an idea of what I want to get, but you guys know how it goes when I try to find something like I was asked to turn off the camera or whatever. We'll try whatever. I'm going to take you guys around with me today. Okay, it's like already eight minutes, so I'm going to turn this off. Um, I just love you guys so much, and I don't know. Are we, are we tired of these vlogs? Are they stupid? Are like vlogs becoming basic? I don't know. Like, what am I going to do? I don't know. Like... Do you guys even care about what I talk about anymore? Like, about my, like, daily minutia? Like, I don't even, I'm not even sure. Whatever, we'll try it. And it starts to get basic when I get bored of it. I'm not, like, so, so bored of this yet. But sometimes I'm like, ugh, another vlog. I don't know. Is that, like, what people want to see? I don't know. I still like watching vlogs, so. But, yeah. All right. I'm going to talk to you now. It's nine minutes. Bye. Ugh. So we're just walking from the car wash to the supermarket and on like the main street it's like so embarrassing and I don't have my sunglasses on my eyes are all squinty and everyone's looking at me like freaking insane oh my gosh I caught myself it's like come on me anyway I'll, it's like a really nice day out though it's like not hot so also my pants that I'm wearing I don't know if you guys can see but they are from Aritzia and they're like that faux leather stretch. You guys, oh my God, it's so windy. I look such a freak. Um, but they are freaking amazing and I'm buying another pair because I wear them all the time. 
worn them like almost every day since I bought them. Okay, it's so windy. I'm gonna go. Sit. themselves the car wash I do I get like I always like help them <laughs> I want it like perfect I hate when there's like crumbs it's so vile when I get into people's car and they have like crumbs everywhere I want to throw up Crumbs on the seat. I don't even eat on that side. I'm gonna go to Barney's or Saks or Neiman, like one of them on that the row or whatever right there. I just like I know it. I know at Barney's they probably will have what I want. By the way, I put some lipstick on that one that I wore in my last video. It's like peach color. Oh, and then my necklaces. I just decided to like stack them today. I was kind of like wanting to do like a thick like. I wanted to do like a choke, like a lot of necklaces, like right here. So I don't know. I just like the idea of like kind of almost messy stacking. And I typically don't. Typically, I'm like very. I'm. I always tailor my jewelry perfectly. That's such like a big thing of mine. Is like when I when I design these like certain pieces, like they're supposed to either fit on the in the middle of the neck, on the base of the neck, like on the voice box area. Like there's certain places where like I design them to fit so that you can layer them perfectly. But like these two, for example, the pearl and the to this uh the coco choker coco curb choker they are like both base of the neck necklaces but i thought it was kind of cool the way this kind of just sits on top it looks very like nice together so it's kind of just feeling it this morning and then um i don't know if you can tell in the light i'm wearing my sleek dash lariat of course underneath and then my silver um, chain lariat which is just really good for every day. It's like one of the pieces that you can just wear every single day and mix and match. I mean, all of my stuff, honestly, is just like everyday pieces. I don't really, you know what I mean? Like everything, like all the stuff that I make mixes and matches and that's like the philosophy behind my line. But um, this pearl right here, if I can get into some shade, I'll show you. Oh, that sounds like weird if I can get into some shade. Um, I'll show you, but this is the 
unicorn bubble pearl I'm wearing today. I'm not wearing the classic pearl. It's more of a, it's a matte white pearl with like almost like hints of AB tones in it. It's really, really, really pretty. So if you want like a modern, like maybe more, yeah, a modern, maybe younger take on a classic pearl, I would opt for this one. It's the unicorn bubble pearl, I call it that. And I call it that because I feel like if a unicorn were to like blow bubbles, this is the color it would be. It's like a unicorn, it's actually like a unicorn pearl. Like very, I don't know, it's very, very cool. But it's not like too much pink and blue where it's like childish looking. It's really, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I just like layer these two and they're just kind of just like sitting on top of each other. Okay, I will let one person in, but I will not let two people in. You can go behind me. Um, so much construction right here. Honestly, you guys, though, like I that that latte I had at Paris Baguette, I didn't was not feeling at all. Like, it was not made right. Just was like not feeling it. Um, by the way, how fucking annoying is this camera where I have to sit like this? Like, maybe that's another reason I don't vlog as much because this, my new car is just not vlog conducive, and I need to figure it out. You know. Anyway, um, so I kind of feel like I need to get a latte somewhere. But I don't really want a latte. I kind of want to go to Creation. They, they do have a Creation right here. Maybe I'll stop at Creation. If there's like a, a spot in the 15 minute, I will do that. There's like a cone in the middle of the street. God, these people are idiots. Um, what else? Oh yeah, my outfit, you guys. I'm just kind of like, this outfit is, you guys remember the outfit at my, whatever, my last video I was talking about outfits I wear. So now I'm wearing these new Aritzia pants that I told you guys about like 10 minutes ago or whatever. Um, they are must, must, like literally must, must. If you guys dress like like my vibe, like if you like to dress the way I dress, then get these pants. They are dress upable, dress downable. I wore these to that, went to my friend's birthday party at Masters this weekend. I wore them with like a really skimpy little tank top. And then now I'm wearing them with my big men's oversized cardigan and another cardigan on top layered with my Chanel clogs. Like so easy to like wear everywhere. I just love them. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll be, this thing, like, if I go to Barney's, I can't fucking take out my camera, right? Like, I don't even want to be fucking harassed. That's the thing. Like, I'm going to go in there and, like, spend money. And you're going to harass me. Let me tell you something that happened that is so annoying. My mom and I went to a world market, um, in Huntington Beach. And we, had to, we went to Cheesecake Factory for dinner, for lunch. And then we just were like, what are we going to do now? We're, like, walking around. We went there and... The, like the guy like chased me down like the manager he's like is, that, is this a service dog and I'm like yeah and he's like okay it's no problem whatever we're already cleared by the manager who chased me down like no problem then we get to the register we're like going we're at the register paying for items the girl ringing us up is like oh by the way is that a service dog I was so angry like I never typically get angry at people at people like to their face but this I was like I was like really at this point what does it matter we're paying customers we're buying something and you're asking me if it's a service dog like are you gonna ask me to leave if it's not and I'm paying like for real though like at that point at that point when the customer's already paying like don't you like need to like kind of weigh it like weigh it out am I gonna take this person's money or am I going to kick her out and not make a sale like I don't know people just irritate the fuck out of me it's so annoying not to mention like everything I bought that day I bought like, popcorn and some like Italian chocolate and some like straws that you can make with ice, like ice straws. And I bought a coffee press. Every single thing was bullshit, didn't work. All the food was stale. The chocolate was all melted when I opened it up. The straws did not work when you froze them. And the coffee press is like junk. So I wasted like $50 on nothing. Plus I got, I had the worst experience. I was so mad, like, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And that would like totally take everything back, but like I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna do that. Like I don't have the wrapping for anything, like, whatever. Like I don't even have time. I'm like, oh my hair looks crazy. <sighs> I have like a lot of like annoying customer experiences lately, like that. Like oh, but people need to get a grip. Like not in that. People just, some people are just so dumb. Like if that was my employee, where they were like trying to kick out a customer, and when they were paying for something, I would be like, you are done here. <laughs> like fucking done. Um, oh yeah, and then on top of that, she didn't even ring up my mom for two plates. Like, she, my mom bought plates, and two plates that we put on the counter, we never even got. We weren't charged them either, but we never even got them. Like, she must have just left them on the counter. Just, she was too busy, like, scolding me. 
Okay. So I'm almost here. I'm trying to decide like if I want to go to Barney because I know they'll like I, I feel like Barney is more is better because I think they I I think I know I that they'll have what I want. But I just don't want to deal with like the fucking uppityness of these salespeople. I feel like at Neiman they are like more they're also very snooty, but at Barney's they're more like LA snooty. Like no, not even that. Neiman they're more like the typical pushy salesperson I think, and then Barney's they're more like LA snooty. Like oh my god, like who are you? Are you in here to buy something? Like can you afford anything in here? Like that kind of vibe. And then if I bring the camera out, I just don't want to be yelled at. But I do want to show you guys like the bag. So I just. And I got the dog and I have to be like all like cautious about everything. <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself. I'm such a fucking whack job. Alright, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to see if I should go to get another coffee. Like I feel like I don't need coffee. I'm already like wired off of nothing. <laughs> This more structured one works. Do you like this one, Ming? This one good? egghead like so gross but I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys and tell you that I have like not been holding myself accountable as far as what I'm eating and putting in my mouth and I feel like it's like kind of getting to the point where I need to stop and I've weight's always been a struggle for me um, if you guys I do repeat this a lot in my videos, but I feel like some people don't know, so I'll just say I used to be 181 pounds when I was in high school and like first year of college, and then I decided to lose it all, and I did, not all, I mean, still need to lose weight, but I'm just, you know, I never got obviously anywhere near that again, but it's just always been a struggle for me. And things like calorie counting, like, like that's, I, like writing down everything you eat like a, like a food journal doesn't work for me because I get lazy and I like lie to myself and I'm like in denial about it you know so I'm just gonna try to like so gross but I'm honestly just gonna try to just hold myself more accountable like I feel like every time I reach for a piece of food I'm going to like tell myself okay you know you're gonna eat that right like that's there's some there's calories in that you can't just like act like you didn't eat it or eat it and not think about it like aimless eating um I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh my god you put so much you're so hard on yourself like you're not fat but like I am like I do need to lose weight like I do need to lose like to be happy like I'm not overweight I don't think like my BMI is probably fine but just for myself like I feel like better if I was like probably like 10 pounds less like 7 to 10 I think I'm like that much bigger right now it's like really fucking depressing like Oh my god, like, I don't, I just don't feel on, I feel off, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel good. So, I'm just, like, owning up with you, owning up to you guys. I mean, like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to be more conscious. I feel like it will only do good. Like, I'm, I can't do the food general thing. I can't be bothered with, like, looking up the calories and, like, oh my god, like, 230 calories and, like, 4 calories. I'm like, oh my god, I can't even do it. It's too annoying. I have too many things to do. So, I'm going to try to hold myself more accountable. I think that'd be good. I also wanted to share this with you. This is the La Satane Comforting Oil. And I wanted to share it to you, with you guys because it's not as expensive as other things I use, like the Chanel Sublimage line. I like to take this, just a little dab, like on my finger during the day and just do like this. 
just for a little like natural oil glow. I know if you guys like that look like a, a kind of like an oily face look. Um, I think you went like this and it's like it's not cheap but it's not like super super expensive so you can go give it a try I like it um, and I just figured I'd share uh, so yeah today was my first day of like holding myself accountable and I've done fine now but my problem is not really during the day eating it's like at night eating so we'll see how it goes like reaching for crackers reaching for a yogurt reaching for a string cheese reaching for I don't have string cheese right now but I do have yogurt in the fridge I do have some crackers like I do have a, like some Hershey kisses I do have um what else do I have a like, cheese like there's things that I can that I can like munch on that all have calories like and I get because I stay up late like I trick myself by a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this and it all adds up it's like I have to just monitor that like, I have to. It's not good. And it's, like, really starting to affect me. Um, so, yeah, I just figured a lot of you guys are also out there. You struggle with weight. So I just thought I would share. I know that a lot of us kind of are on the same boat. So, anyway, I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing my Lux Tattoo Choker. This is in the gold. And it's really, really beautiful. It's my most favorite choker. It's my most luxe choker. And it comes in silver and gold. And I wasn't offering silver or gold before, but now I am. If you guys ever see me wearing chokers, it's typically this one in the silver. And then I'm wearing my Dripping Crystals seamless. It's like a seamless crystal um, choker with crystals all the way around to the back. So it's really pretty, like, from every view. Um, but, yeah, so that's that. And, I don't know, wish me luck, I guess. Like enough's enough I've got to do something like I I oh yeah and then like I'm not working out with Ron anymore because he's taking a class and it's, like cutting into the I guess he can't like train me now that he's taking this class so I'm not really like working out I'm like not that fucking working out even matters anywhere it's all about your calorie intake like let's be real but for me it is um so I need to figure out like I probably have to go to like some cycling class or something but okay now I look like literally a man I have to go this is horrible I love you guys bye <laughs> hey guys okay so I'm making Greek style lamb tonight and it's just little like lamb chops and I put uh, lemon squeeze lemon all over them salt and oregano and then I made a an avocado what is this? Avocado. It's like a Greek salad, but maybe like a Mexican version of it. It's just avocado, to tomato, cucumber, red onion, cilantro, lime. Or sorry, not lime. Lemon, some pepper, and some salt. And I'm going to stir it all together. Um, and yeah, so I really... And then I'm going to put these in the broiler or like in the oven. And I'm going to make them until they're well done. And then I'll show you guys later. I love lamb. <laughs> 